Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, it has been a couple of weeks since I've hosted um, due to family and other commitments, but I am I, I am back and I will try to keep, um, and I will try my best to actually um, keep the videos coming. In this video, um, I, I won't be opening a Lego set, as you can see, it's not Lego, but it's an Airfix Quick Build Messerschmitt 109. No glue, no paint, just build. So what Airfix have done, Airfix have made these um, kits out of um, Lego um, Lego compatible bricks and you can actually and they've actually made it into a, a Messerschmitt and they've done this one with the Messerschmitt 109. I picked this up in a German in one of the German supermarkets reduced um, a few weeks ago because these the, um, Around Christmas time, these usually retail around the nine pound mark in the German supermarkets, and you probably pay about about twenty. You probably pay about twenty pounds um, elsewhere for these um, if you're buying these in toy shops or Airfix and places like that. But generally, the German supermarkets have these around Christmas time and and things like that. So as you see, it's not a bad little set. The picture looks good. It's not a bad bit of artwork, and, and they have done it, so it, it's definitely the Lego model as well. So it does, does look quite good. They haven't got the classic Airfix art, but as you can see, you've got um, that's, that's the way you build it as well. We'll open it up. One thing I will say about these sets, um, they are very good sets. They are very good sets, but when you actually build them, I've got to work out to get into these boxes. I've I forgot how you do this, it's kind of like... Let me get some scissors from down here. There's a little clip here that comes out. Box opens like that and you have a bag of bits with a stand in it. They have actually made a Spitfire on the, in this in this series as well, and they did have a very nice tank in there um, last uh, last year. As you see, you've got the Iron Cross and the number twelve, so your classic like Airfix sticker um, sticker sheets. You have a instruction sheet like this. It's kind of like your the same way Wilco used to do it as well back in the day as well so it's um not and it's not done in quite the same way as lego but i think it's probably done the same way airfix would probably do it i don't know because i haven't bought airfix sets in a really long time i did build the last set i built was the battle of Brit the battle of britain memorial flight set a long time ago during the school holiday probably my be probably one of the best school holidays i ever had i used to go out paint all the pieces put them in the middle um what what um, paint all the pieces whilst they were in the um, um, plastic and then when I paint them leave them to dry and this is when I lived with my mum's and I'd we had a little bit out little shelter bit outside well where I could work painted it all up I painted the Lancaster the Spitfire the Hurricane put a little cotton along the top bit as well so it did look quite cool as you can see these are all the bits you get with it It's actually it is actually Lego compatible, but as I've said before, the one drawback with these um, sets is the um, is the fact that that, that they are only com generally compatible with each other rather than um, rather than sort of um, other builds. But I'm quite sure if you were a skilled builder, you could probably put the parts of the Spitfire and this one together and probably build something quite good. But that's enough of me talking about that. We will go straight on with, we'll get straight on with the build. So we start off with this piece here. And this piece here, everything's pre-molded, so you haven't really got to make too much. And these two pieces go together like so, that's for the engine. And 
and then you have a eight by two with some molded bits on the side like this. That attaches on there like so. Then you have one of these bits here, another pre-molded bit like that. Does look quite good. And that goes on there like so. Then we have what would be a eight by four an eight by two Lego plate, so Lego compatible plate. It doesn't quite click in quite the same way Lego does, but that's, but then again, it, but then again, Lego are the Lego Lego are the only company that seem to make Lego bricks that seem to be um, really really compatible generally. If anyone does disagree with that, do feel free to put um, put. Um, put a, put something in the comments. Next, we have a four by four by two plate that goes on there like so. Now we have a five by two plate with some bits on the side, which is this one here. And that bit goes on there like so. It's got one of these a seven by two plate with some bits on the side. There is the possibility, um, if you were a really good builder, you, um, if you were a skilled, um, a decent, a good Lego builder, could actually use these pieces and incorporate them into Lego as well. But I haven't, fortunately, I don't have the time to commit to that sort of um, building at, at the moment. So this is the next bit we have put in here. Another. Or you could just take the actual mould like this, or you could take these bricks here and actually try and work out how to do it with proper Lego as well, because I think that would be quite cool. But, but the thing is, um, Lego um, haven't got worried too much on the competition side of things um, with air, Lego and air, because um, I can't see Lego making a German, realistic looking German plane because, it, um, because of the violence side of it. So, But not, not to say that they wouldn't, so I don't, I don't want to be. Now we've got a brown three by two curved piece. Which goes on there like so. Now we make the tail, which is one of these pieces here and one of these pieces here. I think. Oh, it's one, yeah, this piece. It's this piece, sorry, this piece here and this piece here, they are quite sort of, like I say, these, these instructions are very much like the Wilco's Lego instructions and from back in the day. Then you have this piece here, which goes on top, like so, which holds that bit in. And that bit goes on the back there like so. So you've got the, pretty much got the main, 
central bit of the plane. Now you've got a pre-molded tail, tail fin piece here in this brown, green, green brown. So I am slightly colour blind, so I do apologise if, if, if I'm getting the colours wrong. And that piece goes on the back there like so. Next we have this piece Have this piece here, which is a funny shaped piece like that. I think I've done this bit, hang on. This bit doesn't go on the back yet, my apologies. I got a bit excited there. bit goes on there like that so you've got that curved shape there you got one of these gray pieces here it's like a three like a lego three by lego three by two plate with some moldy bits on top I'm going to push this bit on there, that bit goes on there like that. Then you've got another green bit there that goes on there like that. I think that's for the camouflage, that's the way they've done the, um, done the camouflage on that. So that's, it's quite clever building but it's very limited, very limited to what you can do with it afterwards which is the main, um, what most people say would be the main problem with these sets, but I don't have a problem, I, I kind of quite like them because I've always been a bit of an airfix. I used to build these when I was younger anyway, so it's kind of like good fun, so. Then you have a wheel, a, you go wing, this wing here like this, in gray, and you have a wheel in a wheel that goes in there like that. And now we have the camouflage piece, the camouflage pieces that go on there. So we've got that piece there going on there. Then you've got a brown piece which goes on next. I think it's that one there. Then you've got a bigger um, beige piece here, which goes on there. Then this wing go. Then this that's like this wing is done. So we put this piece over here. Now we get the next wing piece, which is this one here. We have the wheel, which is that piece there. As I said before, the holes in these are quite fiddly, so and they, and they, and they don't grip quite as well as Lego, but they. Are, like I say, they are still, I personally find them quite good fun, so. Then you have a piece that goes, this piece here goes on the back here like so, where my finger is.
Then you have this piece here, which goes on next. Try to work out which way it goes on, because it looks, it's not quite. That's better, I've got it, ah. Yeah, those two pieces go on like that. Then you have this piece here. Which goes on there like that. As you can see, you've got that camouflage scheme going on. And then you put these two wings together, like so. Then you have this piece here, which is a three by a three by three by two plate with a angled pit on there. That goes on there like so. Then you have a green wing, a green wing camo piece goes on there like that. Then you have the Beige, I was trying to call that, goes on like that, and you get left with that piece here. Then this piece here should go on like so. Then the tail piece that we made goes on here. So that makes that nice and even on the back like that. They've used Lego one Lego style one studs for help holding the propeller in, which is quite, quite nice. You stick that bit on the back of this black propeller here. That goes on there like so. Then you have this yellow engine cover piece here. I appear to put something in the wrong place because it doesn't seem to be going together properly, so. Trying to work out where I've gone wrong here before I actually go any further. So I'll take this bit off here and then put it. So I put the best bit here goes on like that, that way round by the looks of it. I'll put that on the wrong way round, do apologise. So that should now connect on there. Actually the instructions aren't as clear as they could be really, but stick this tail back on here. I do build live, as you can see, so. Then we have a nice little um, clear, Le clear Lego star brick like that, so. You do get some nice pieces with these sets, which you, you could possibly integrate into your, into your Lego collection, so. I know I keep mentioning the L word, but, but this is a Lego channel, and I do sometimes 
uh, partake in these sort of things. Then we have a bomb, which is two pieces, like, like an airfix thing, but it attached with Lego studs, and then you have a little red, round stud there. This is the this is uh, this is where you get problems with these sets is when you're trying to I'm gonna try pushing this bit on here. It's a bit tight, so hopefully when it goes on, this bit here should just attach. The next problem you have is this stud usually comes off the propeller. I, I remember having this problem when I got the when I built the Spitfire. I did, did build did build did build that on my channel, and the, stu and it, the bomb kind of sits in there like that. So there we go. I think the stud has just the red stud has just come. No, I haven't. It's gone all the way to the back. So these, these red studs there, mate, aren't um, airfix, mate, aren't that, I don't think they're that good, to be honest with you. I think they come, I think they're very prone to coming loose, so you do have to be careful with this. So I'll be covering this in the review video. So that bit goes on there like that, and you have a Messerschmitt 109. We've got to put some stickers on it first. These are the other builds you can get with it as well. So there are some some nice builds on it. it this is more display model because this bomb doesn't really want to stay on I'll for first we'll just build the display stand as well I forgot that piece in all the excitements The studs are a bit of a tight push to get in, get in on here. As, I'm, as you see, you've got a display stand here. Uh, Airfix have tried to make it a construction set. I do think if they're gonna make a stand, not figuratively, but like that, I think this is very much for like, um, if you are an Airfix builder, you probably will like this, you probably will like this, but. I don't think I don't think I would ever I would ever um, swap these for Lego to be honest with you. But see, this stud does not want to stay on here at all. This is when she really gets some airfix glue, uh, but or polystyrene cement as they call it. So. And as soon as you push on one way, it seems to push itself off, which is not great. I'm gonna try and get this back on here, because I didn't have this problem, didn't have this many problems with the Spitfire, so here we go. This is the reason I don't buy these sets that often because they are they are nice models, but they don't. Let me get that stay on without that. It actually works better without a stub, to be honest with you. So I'm going to sort of leave that. I'm not sure if that stub was meant to be there to begin with or not. So no, it wasn't. That's the reason. But when the bomb's on there, you can't have the, you, you do struggle to get the stand on there as well, so. Which is the unfortunate thing. So that's another slight flaw with the build, and that's, that's just a spare stud. But we do have some stickers to put on this before we go any further, before we end this video. Thank you for bearing with me on this. 
I've uh, watching me bodge, bodge my way through this. So as you can see, you've got, it does look quite good on the stand, but I've got some stickers on it first. So we've got stickers number, they have put all the, all the stickers, individually numbered stickers on this one, even though they're all the same, which is, which is a very air fixy thing to do really, so. So we put these, um, so we've got stickers number three, I might put it on the side first, actually. So. so sticker number one is the number 12. I'm not sure of the significance of that. I should know a bit more about that because I do actually like these um, war planes. So. I'll try and line this up so it looks good. Then you have sticker number two, an iron cross that goes on the side here. The thing is, once you put these stickers on, you can't pull these apart, which is a bit of a dis, which is which is a li which isn't ideal. So that goes on there like that. Do the same on this side here. Sticker number one. Try and get that nicely lined up. And that should be quite close to the cockpit, I think, so because of the way it's angled. Then sticker number two goes next to it, the iron cross. This will be interesting on the hashtags. So we got that side there and that side there done. Now we get now we have got stickers number three which go on the wings. So I'm going to take this off here a minute. Put the stickers on here. Try and get it lined up as to where Airfix have put them. Fortunately, they don't use what I would call obvious lines, which makes it a little bit hard, which makes it a little more interesting to do. I won't say hard, I'll use the word interesting. I'll put that there. Put one on the other side as well. Is not too bad to line up, but I'm um, like I say, any if you do have any comments or feedback on that, do feel free to um, put uh, do feel free to put them on the end of the video. I always say all constructive, um, all, um, all any any constructive feedback is is always gratefully received. I'll put this on here so it kind of fits nicely. Put the other one on. See, back in, if you, if these were proper, I don't know if Airfix still actually put the stickers where you got to put them in water and then and then you attach them on. But they probably do these stickers now these days because they're probably. Um, See, so there we go, we've got our iron cross on it, you've got your numbers on it. You can attach the bomb like this, you don't need that stud like I was trying to do. So that flies around like that. It does look quite good for what it is. Um, you can't really build like that out of Lego due to the camo patterns as well, which is what they cashed in on. They cashed in on the Airfix look and done a good job with it. But outside, um, outside of the, uh, outside of the, oh, as you can see, well, as soon as you 
touch this propeller, it comes off, which is very brittle. So it's, def it's definitely not a toy to be played with for if you've got kids or anything like that. So bear with me, I'm going to try and put the stud back on. I'm going to put the other stud on, see if that's going to be tight, tighter. Because Probably not, but... There we go, lost. All right. This is not the best design I've seen, so I might try to see if I put two studs on it and see if that will then fit without causing too much fuss, but probably not. So it'll probably still be just as temperamental. But like I say, this is a mod display model for model makers. It's probably not designed to be a toy. Whereas the, the propeller does spin quite well. And if you really are going to keep this, get some Airfix glue and glue that little stud on the back. Because if I was going to do that, I would definitely do that. But as you see, it's quite a nice little build for what it is. It looks like what it is. They haven't, unfortunately, saying that, they haven't actually put the machine guns on it or anything like that, which is a bit of a shame. But, it, but it's more of a bomber, unfortunately. So... It still looks all right for what it is. It's a nice little build. Once you get it on the stand, once you get it on the stand like that, it does look quite good. It's got a good tilt on it. You can move it around a little bit like that. It's got some maneuverability. It's not bad for what it is. It's good value. It's good value. Um, if, 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 if you enjoy building these kit, Airfix kits, it's probably worth, they are, they are worth buying. And if you like your Lego and you want some nice bricks, these definitely, sets are definitely worth buying because they do have some nice bricks with it you could incorporate into your, into your Lego. So overall, overall reasonably happy with it. Um, there is the few obvious, obvious problems with it, but it's not designed, I don't think, I don't think, I'm not sure if Airfix designed it to, well, they probably have it's for six plus, but overall it's a nice little build, I do like it, and they have done quite a good job with it. There are some other nice models in them that I wouldn't mind getting hold of as well. There's a couple of jets and an attack helicopter as well, so I'll be looking out for those at Christmas. As you can see, you've got, that's this, um, this is what you got, so I will be doing a review video of this as well, so, um, if you wish to see me actually um, talk about this, uh, talk about this just as a build, or you don't want to watch me watch me bodge the build again, um, thank you very. Um, I'll I'll very much appreciate that. So stay safe. So that's um, this is the uh, so like I say this 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 is the build. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do feel free to like, share, and subscribe subscribe if you have any comments or feedback on this video do feel free to add them at the end of the video and i'll try to give a mention on an upcoming video i'm on youtube instagram and threads if you wish to follow me i am looking at other, uh, other forms of social media as well so like i said before um, any kind or constructive um, criticism will always get will I, I will always try my best to give you a to um to send you a reply stay safe keep building and hope to see you on an upcoming video. Thank you for watching.